Now, in the previous lecture, we understand how to find the one document from the collection. Now, let me show you how you can update the document. Now, updating a document is a little tricky because we need to get the value from the user and filter the document which we want to update. Let me show you how you can do it. I'm going to create a new controller for that. So, inside my route, here, I'm going to create a new route and pass controller. So, here, I'm going to say app dot put. You can notice here, I'm using put HTTP method. Put HTTP method is going to allow us to update the value. So, we're going to use here put HTTP method and then I'm going to pass here my route. So, in the single code, I'm going to specify forward slash and then specify here to do. Along with that, I'm going to pass a variable here. So, I'm going to pass here forward slash colon and then I'm going to specify here to do ID. I'm going to get the to do ID of the document to update it. Just out of that, I'm going to pass here my controller. So, let me create my controller inside this to do controller. So, here I'm going to say update controller. So, just down here, I'm going to say exports dot update is equal to and then I'm going to pass here an arrow function just like this. And then I'm going to call this update inside this route. So, as a second argument, I'm going to say controller dot update. Let me save this file back to my controller and let me create the update controller inside this file. Now, to update the document, you need to first validate the request. So, to do that, I'm going to say here if in the parenthesis, I'm going to get the body of the client data. So, here I'm going to say request and response and inside this if, I'm going to say if request dot body dot title. If it is not there, then I'm going to return a response with the status code 400 and then I'm going to send a message. I'm going to send a message to do content cannot be empty. And just on here, I'm going to call a mongoose method which is find by id update. So, I'm going to say here to do, I'm going to call my schema here and then I'm going to call here a method find by id and update this one. And then I'm going to pass here parenthesis. And as a first argument, you need to specify your id which you want to update or you can say the document id which you want to update. So, here I'm going to say request dot params dot to do id. Just for that, I'm going to specify here comma and pass here curly braces like this. Just for that, as a second argument here, you need to pass the data which you want to update. Now, we first specify which document I want to update. So, here we're going to get the document ID from the URL and then I'm going to update the data of that document. And then I'm going to say here request dot body dot title. And if I don't have any value inside it, I'm going to pass here callback value which is untitled to do. Just out of that, I'm going to specify here description. Description is going to be the request dot body dot content. So, when I pass value to this request object or you can say to this request body, I'm going to create this content key. Once you specify the updated data, just after that, just down here, I'm going to call a promise. So, if the promise is successfully resolved, I'm going to call the then method. Otherwise, if the promise is rejected, I'm going to call the catch method. In the then method, here I'm going to call to do and then call a callback function. And then if I don't have anything inside this to do, then I'm going to return the error message. So, I'm going to say here return response dot status and in the parenthesis, I'm going to say 404, the error code and then I'm going to send a message. And then I'm going to send a message here which is to do not found with id and then I'm going to concatenate the request dot params dot to do id variable. So, if the document of this id is not there in your database, you will get this error message. Just out of this if statement, I'm going to simply say response dot send and inside it, I'm going to simply send to do like this. And in the catch method, here I'm going to send an error and I'm going to send an error here and I'm going to say here if and I'm going to say here return response dot status and then specify the status code which is 500 and then I'm going to send a response. So, I'm going to say here send in the parenthesis I'm going to say message and message is going to be error updating to do with id and then I'm going to concatenate my id. So, I'm going to say here request dot params dot 
to do ID. That's it. Your update controller is now successfully ready. Let me test this controller. So I'm going to save this file and open my Postman testing tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first get all my documents. So let me just first make a get request on get to do URL. So here I'm going to make a get request. So when I make a get request, I'm going to get two documents here. Now let me update my first document. So I'm going to copy this ID and I'm going to make a put request here. So instead of get, I'm going to choose now put request. And I'm going to make this request on route to do. And just for that, as you know, to this route, I'm going to have here a variable. Let me pass value to it. So inside this URL, I'm going to pass forward slash and pass my ID like this. And just for that, I want to update this value as well as this description value. So inside this body here, as you can notice here, I have your title and content key. And I'm going to specify a new value here. So I'm going to say here, updated new to do and just out of that just down here i'm going to say new to do updating now let me explain this request i'm going to first select the put request because to update the value of the mongodb data we need to make a put request inside this url i'm going to specify which document i want to update so i'm going to specify here to do id for that so mongodb will filter documents from this collection and just out of that once the mongodb find that document it will update that document with our values. So you can notice here, we just specify here some values inside this body. So when I click on this send button, you can notice MongoDB will update my values. You will get the previous value of your record. And when you make a get request on get to do route, if I specify get on get to do, you can notice you will have your updated data. Now practice with this code to understand how to update the MongoDB document. Next, we're going to understand how to delete the MongoDB document.